guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Kotobukiya Art FX 1 6 scale Wonder Woman statue. That's right, it's the next in line from Kotobukiya's DC Art FX 1 6 scale lineup, featuring the beautiful and confident Princess Diana. As you can see, Wonder Woman comes in this gorgeous window box packaging. The package has a nice vibrant bright red color scheme with the Wonder Woman logo up there at the top and some beautiful artwork of the character down at the bottom of the packaging. You get another look at that same gorgeous artwork on the left hand side of the box, while the right hand side has a great photo of the figure itself with some really cool little stars worked into the window box. And then flipping that around to the back side, we get a description of the Wonder Woman statue within. Now this is a pre-painted PVC statue, so there is no paintwork, no model skills, or anything like that needed. She basically comes out of the box ready to be displayed. She does include an awesome Wonder Woman insignia display stand. And you'll notice that there are just two little pegs popping off of it. And if you look at the bottom of the statue on her right foot and the base of the cape that she's wearing, you've got the holes that will plug firmly onto those two pegs. She stands nice and tight on there, so you don't have to worry about her being wobbly or falling off. And now, my friends, she is ready for display on your shelf. Wonder Woman here stands in the 1-6 scale, so she is just under 12 inches tall. And just as Kotobukiya is known for, she features an absolutely gorgeous sculpt with a beautiful paint job that helps to bring out all of the wonderful details here. She's wearing her infamous outfit featuring the red and kind of a nice metallic gold look on the bodice there, with the blue skirt with the white stars on it, and the red and white high heel boots. On top of that, this version of Wonder Woman also features a beautiful red cape hanging down from her back. She's gripping onto the cape in both of her hands there, and it kind of twists and winds around her back. Looks absolutely beautiful. And of course, Wonder Woman just wouldn't be Wonder Woman without that golden tiara on her forehead, her silver wrist bracelets, and that golden lasso of truth hanging from her side. All of the little details in the sculpt here are awesome. Just as I said earlier, the paint jobs really help to bring out all of the fantastic details. Not only do the colors really pop on this and the paint job is nice and clean, but I love all of the great little intricacies you see on this. I love the way that the cape kind of looks while it's being clenched in both of her fists there. It's got a very natural and very flowing look as it kind of drapes down and wraps off to the side of her right leg. Even that little brooch that is used to clasp the cape around her neck up there has some really nice little details etched into it. And that golden lasso that's hanging off of her hip has a very nice kind of real rope-like look to the sculpt. Wonder Woman is in a very powerful and dynamic pose, almost as if she's in mid-walk heading towards an adversary. And that look on her face is perfectly befitting of the Wonder Woman character. She's beautiful, but at the same time, she really gives off this aura of confidence and bravery. It's absolutely the way you would expect Wonder Woman to look. Another fantastic detail on this piece is the way that the hair is sculpted. I'm always blown away by how realistic and natural looking Kotobukiya is able to make the hair, especially on these female characters. And Wonder Woman's hair just looks perfect. You've got these great little strands of hair that are kind of sprouting out of the front of the tiara, but all of it's kind of billowing out to the side as if it's naturally flowing in the wind. And it really just kind of tops off the overall look and the beauty of this particular statue. Now, if you've been collecting uh, Kotobukiya's other artifacts, 1-6 scale statues, you've now got this Wonder Woman to fit in with your Batman and your Superman, or hey, even that Joker from Killing Joke that was released. So you're really building up quite the awesome little display with all of these beautiful 1-6 scale DC statues. And Kotobukiya has released a really great assortment of Wonder Woman pieces over the years, but this new one here has definitely become my favorite of the versions of Wonder Woman that they have released so far. It's just a fantastic sculpt that really just perfectly embodies everything about Wonder Woman. That beauty, that confidence, that bravery, and that strength are all present in the gorgeous sculpt of this statue. 
So there you go, my friends. There's a look at the brand new 1-6 scale artifacts Wonder Woman from Kotobukiya. If you'd like to get more information on Kotobukiya and their products, be sure to visit them online at www.kotous.com. And you can also like them on Facebook to stay up to date with all of their current events at facebook.com slash Until next time...